make a great DJ. But the most important thing is good tracks played at the right time. Now we can't tell you what tracks to play, but we can show you how to play them. There are also many different genres of music, so don't feel like you have to stick to one. Music is a complex animal and you'll find many things that influence you and inspire you. But one thing is for sure, the more open you are to new sounds, the deeper your musical knowledge will run and the better you'll be able to work a dance floor. And like we said before, it's all about great music. So now we know what makes up a track, let's see how we can get them to sit together. Now there's two ways you can queue up a track. The CDJs have a great function called the auto queue, which you'll find here. This takes you to the beginning of a track, which is great if your track starts with a beat, like this. That's your cue point, and then I can press play. Right, however, not all tracks start with a beat, like this one. Now I'm, I want to find the first beat of this track, so I'm going to have to find it manually. So I'm going to have to take off the auto cue function by pressing and holding. Now I'm going to start the track and I'm going to use the platter to find the beat. We'll bring this back and find the first beat, which is there. Now to make that a cue point, all I have to do is press Q, and there we have it. Right, so again, one more time. With the auto cue function on, we just start the track. There we go. Now with the auto cue function off and manually, go back to the beginning, your song will start automatically. Then we have to grab the platter, pull back the track so we can find the first beat and press Q. And there we have it. So now I'll show you how to cue up a track. Let's get mixing. First of all, I'm going to take my headphones off so we can hear what's going on out loud. Secondly, I've got two of the same tracks and I've got them set at exactly the same tempo, which is zero. Now to adjust your tempo, you use your pitch control. I'll show you. You can make the track faster or slower. So that's what the pitch control is for. Now, I've got the track that I want to mix in, queued up and ready to go on the first beat. I'll show you. You can hear that when I press Q. So now I want to let go this track at the start of a new phrase, like we talked about before. Now I can hear a new phrase come in, so I'm going to count it with you. It's coming. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 I want to start this track on the first beat of a new phrase. Now if you can hear, that is a little bit off beat and we need to get our beats matched. So the way we do this is by nudging this platter here. If we nudge it this way, it will speed up. Now we're in beat. If we nudge it this way, we can slow it down. That's taking it out of beat. So let's get it back on track. There we go, we're in the mix. Okay, now we've got the same track playing but at different parts of the song. But because we let the track go at the end of a phrase and on the first beat of the new phrase, we can hear things are gonna change together. So if you have a listen, you can hear how the song sounds in harmony. Simple, huh? Now this is the part where it can get a little bit tricky. Not every track is going to be at the same speed or set to zero, zero tempo. So we're going to try something differently now. I'm going to play this track at a random setting. I'm going to make it a little bit faster. Now I need to mix this track into the one playing out loud. 
So I've got this cued up to the first beat, as you can hear. And I'm going to start it at the beginning of a new phrase. I'm going to try to nudge it, but as you can see, it's going way out of beat. Sounds terrible. Sometimes you're going to mix and it's going to go so far out, there's no turning back. So we're going to stop and start again. And this is where we need to use something that every DJ throughout the world uses. It's called correct and adjust. And you do that by moving your pitch control simultaneously with nudging the platter. So you can move it faster or slower and your nudge can be your fine tuning to make your track faster or slower. So let's go to mix. As again, we'll start at the beginning of a new phrase. Now I need to make it faster. So I'm moving my pitch control down very finely. I think I have it. This is what is called correct and adjust. And this is going to be very frustrating for you. But remember, you will get it. Just practice, practice, practice. 